The World Bank Maldonado Trust Fund was set up as one of the main channels for donors to provide cash to the oil producing region following its two decade long civil war. Donors have given the fund over $500 million since the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement in 2005. Michael Elim Quest, the head of the donor group, says more than a hundred million US dollars in funding still needs to be spent before a deadline in 2011. We are now just uh, one year from the end of the fund and there's still um, more than a hundred million dollars in the fund that need to be spent and at the current spending rate, we don't believe that it's going to be possible to spend all that money within that time frame. The aid group Oxfam says the World Bank's strict rules make it difficult for development organizations, particularly Sudanese groups, to apply for funding. The aid agency also criticizes the World Bank for being slow and ineffective, especially with regard to health and education projects. World Bank official Joseph Saba has reviewed the Thousa Sudan Donor Trust Fund and says that uh, it's been moving too slowly. The bank has not been satisfied with performance of this trust fund, which in some respects has not met standards achieved by other trust funds we administer elsewhere, in large part due to severe capacity constraints. We want to move faster while still ensuring proper use of funds. Saba says the bank needs to disperse its funds as quickly as the deadline looms to ensure that donor monies benefit the poor and not lost to corruption. South Sudan's semi-autonomous government acknowledges that it's partly to blame for the distribution of funds. Agre Tisa, Under Secretary of Sudan's Finance Ministry, says donors have unrealistic expectations about the fund's administration. Yes, the bank has been blamed for being slow, for being rigid, for being stringent in its procurement procedures. Yeah, maybe they have uh, part of the blame, but to lay the entire blame squarely at the door of the bank, I think, is overblowing it and being... Uh, a little bit unfair. In 2011, Southern Sudan will go to a referendum to decide whether it will split from the north as a separate country. Paul Ndiho, VOA News, Washington.